Joe. Welcome back to After the Whistle. We continue our chatting with the Champ Series with a look at the gridiron. And while most of the postseason is well on the way, the center stand Wildcats are able to go back to back at the six man championship. I talked with head coach Kale Furterer and senior Hunter Hoffman about what the title means to them. Take a look. All right, thank you guys for joining me. I got Kale Furterer and Hunter Hoffman of Center Stanton Football. And uh, guys, I want to appreciate you for being on the show with me. Thanks for having yeah, me. It's good. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, good to have you guys uh, here and uh, your accomplishments, uh, a big time one. And Kale, I want to talk to you uh, first. You know, tell me about this team and what it was able to accomplish on the football field with the six man championship and being able to take home another title. Years ago, when I became the head coach, I just told the told the team, I said, basically, their expectation should be to play in this championship game every single year. Once we found out, you know, kind of how the league was going to be organized and whatnot. And yeah, it's just been, I mean, obviously, it's taken a lot of work, you know, on, on the kids part, especially, of course. But it's just, uh, it's kind of crazy to think back, like how many times, you know, kind of the, if you did told me this five years ago or whatever when I first started coaching that I'd have told you you know get out of town but yeah it's it, it's been a it's been a good you know a, a good thing to look back on and it's gonna be sad to see those guys go but I mean you know kind of just look as the program goes you have to just refocus and you know get on the underclassmen right away which is something we've been doing especially already this this uh beginning of this off season so yeah it's I don't know, I'm already looking forward to next year. It's it's kind of bittersweet, of course, losing those guys, but yeah. I want to talk to you about, you know, this core group of guys uh, Coach Furter mentioned, you know, uh, th these guys that you've kind of grown grown up with in the sport. And uh, tell me about this crew. What what will be looked back upon with the this group that you uh, are graduating with? Oh, all of us, we all know how to work together. I mean, yeah, we have our differences and we kind of bicker back and forth sometimes, but we all know that as soon as we're on the field, we know our jobs and what we're supposed to do to obviously win. There might be a little bit of a, a bittersweetness with the idea that this group doesn't get a chance to play in the Fargo Dome and actually, you know, get, be a part of that Dakota Bowl celebration. How 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 much uh, do you think about that and, you know, the possibility of, of having that opportunity if, if Six Man was a little more uh, recognized in that sense. Uh, how much do you wish you have those guys have that opportunity to play at NDSU? Well, I, I mean, you know, of course, obviously that opportunity would be amazing. But in the same sense, you know, these guys also, you know, they, they hold what we've got here, you know, pretty near and dear, I would say. I, I flat out asked the team, you know, we've got a potential that we could go and play nine man. Would you guys rather do that and potentially, you know, some of you guys obviously would have an uh, opportunity to maybe be an all-state player, but we most likely would not, you know, have an opportunity to play for a state title, of course, like in the capacity that we're doing right now. And granted, you know, if we could get more teams into the league, those chances, of course, would diminish more over time, which would be fantastic, though, for the league, which is, you know, what we want to do to try to get that out there. But uh, like I said, he would remember i'm sure the conversation that i had and the and the thing was are we are we enjoying what we're doing and are we having fun you know being competitive and uh playing you know at a high level hunter i'll, I'll end with you you know uh what coach spoke upon on that uh you know tell me that choice and having that ability to choose what you really wanted this legacy to be at center Stanton, you know take me through that decision and and wanting the opportunity to just have these lifelong memories with these guys um, well, yeah, um, I wanted to play nine man. It'd been, we would have more competition and stuff, but down the road. And I mean, yeah, we probably could have played for two years, but then what if we had a few injuries and we, then we would end up having less guys and then we'd end up being screwed over because we'd have 11, 10 guys that are healthy, but I don't know, playing with all six seniors as starters and winning and being undefeated and winning back to back. I don't know. I wouldn't want to do it with any other guys than these guys. Cause we've been, we would play football out on recess since we were in first grade. So it's, it was, it's amazing. Well, I want to appreciate you both for being with me here on this, uh, on the show. So I want to thank you for taking the time with me.